Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Marlisa Goldsmith. Craig O'Neill will join us later from his home. As we get closer to heading back to school, some parents are already saying no to the classroom. But to keep their kids socializing and learning, they're creating a new type of learning environment. THV 11's Ashley Godwin shows us how. It's a nationwide movement that's now here in central Arkansas. Parents are creating another option to have a safe learning environment for their kids. Essentially, it's just coming together in some capacity, physically coming together and doing your virtual learning. It's called a learning pod. It's typically a group of five to ten kids with similar learning needs that meet together regularly to do their schoolwork. Natalie Baber created Little Rock Learning Pods after she decided she wasn't sending her kid back to the classroom. I don't know how um, how it could be as, as safe as I want it to be for my child. Her child is still enrolled in school and will do virtual learning. Baber says this is just another way for them to socialize and get extra help. I know our school personally is just uh, very encouraging and I mean we're just having to come together like all of us it's like uh, moms and community members and teachers and principals and try to figure out how to make this work there's no you know blueprint for this. I have kind of a plan for my daughter my three daughters and I'm open to inviting a few other kids to my home if they're willing to come to create a pod. Chelsea Hudspeth created another group, the Southwest Little Rock Learning Pods, hoping to find parents who might need extra help. Then we can support them with getting a device or getting a hotspot. All those kind of collaborative efforts is what I really want to see so that we can all, you know, be successful. We have a link to both groups on THV11.com. In Little Rock, Ashley Godwin, THV 11 News.